successful is not money. Successful is being fulfilled with your life. And if we can live in that, mm -hmm. then, oh man, we can all just live our life by design. And that's what we're trying to do mm -hmm. with these kids and these families. Um, section eight clients, uh, do you get like a list of people? My name is Eileen and, um, I just recently. Okay. Okay. Um, so think about your workflow again. You, I don't know how to do it. I know how to do it and I'm trying to instruct other people to, to do better in their business, but I also have to do better in my business. So what are you doing in the future uh, that say, uh, like, what are you building for the future? You notice that you said that there are a lot of things coming up with seven figure flipping and things like that, that say maybe our audience can help you out with or um, specifically what can, you know, if even if it's not something for the future, what can my audience help you out with? Yeah, I'd say the most exciting thing that I'm building right now, and I, I'm lit up about it because I interviewed two young people today for my podcast. One mm -hmm. is a 14 year old um, young, young man, young boy, I, I yeah. uh, young person, uh, 14 yeah, years old. He's flipping his third house right now. And then I interviewed a 17 year old girl who is, she's done seven deals. And, um, right. and so we've had these, we've had these young people in our community. And I, I think everything that we do is for our, our future. Mm -hmm. And so everybody wants freedom that comes into our community, into our masterminds and coaching programs, all that stuff. And, uh, what I, we realize is we're, we're trying to leave a legacy, but what if we can actually do that? Like, actively what if we can actively leave yeah. a legacy while we're doing it and so all these young kids started coming to our events um started tagging along with their parents like coming to our big conference we have like a real estate conference every year called flip hacking live they were coming to that and then they started two years ago we had no three years ago we had one speak on stage and then the next year we had a 12 year old and a 16 year old speak on stage and it was just kind of motivating all these kids and adults frankly to go do more so last year, uh, this, this past summer in June, I did an event at my office for, we had 70 kids come and we taught them about money and real estate and, and business mm -hmm. and financials. And it was, it was kind of a test to see, you know, what it would be like, what the kids would get from it. And honestly, the parents got just as much of the kids as we were teaching money and, and financial literacy and these kind of things and, and real estate. And right. so what we decided was we decided to launch a mastermind group for kids. And so okay. we're launching it right now. Like I'm in the middle of my launch right now. We haven't even started emailing it to the public, but we're, we're, we're building out the, the, the site. We're building everything right now. Um, and in the, I think Friday we launch it. So it's really exciting. It's called Teenage Tycoon. And I'm writing mm -hmm. the same, I'm writing a book right now called Teenage Tycoon for, for, you know, kids for, about money and entrepreneurship and a little mm -hmm. bit of real estate. And so we, we launched this recently. So that's something I think that people could talk about is, you know, we, we're building a mastermind for kids. So effectively, every two weeks, they have somebody that I know that's going to come on and talk to them about entrepreneurship. I got I got an e-commerce coach coming in. She's amazing. She's one of the top e-commerce people on mm -hmm. the planet. Like these are people, Randy, that me and you could not get on a one hour Zoom call. Like I can't even get I pay uh, Russell Brunson it runs a company called ClickFunnels. He's my marketing mentor. I can't he's never been on a one hour Zoom call with me. He's going to come wow. in and talk to the kids. They run a, he runs a billion dollar company with yeah. a B billion dollar company. They do yeah. over a hundred million a year in sales. And so like the parents are going to be looking over the kids shoulders during these calls. So every two weeks, I got a New York times bestselling author. I got motivational speakers coming. I'm going to have huge YouTubers come talk to them. And so 25 people throughout the year, every two weeks are going to come do a training for them on what they can do at their age to get started. Like if they could go back, what, what did they learn? What would they do just to motivate these kids to want to continue to grow and build a business and things like that. We have a, a video course about money and uh, entrepreneurship and real estate that they're going to have access to two events. We'll have an event in the summer and an event in the winter. Mm -hmm. um, for them, we have an 850 person conference in the summer here in Nashville. And then in the winter, they'll be here at my office and over at my farm. And then, um, and they're doing a book club. We're going to do a book club with the kids where they go through a book together and they meet every week on an accountability call for the book. 
where they can kind of learn what, did, what were your takeaways that's guided by some of our facilitators. So really amazing. I, I'm, this is what I'm most excited about. And I think is the future of what I can leave behind is impacting the future generation, like the next generation of, yeah. of our youth. And honestly, I think most of the parents are going to pick up this book and look over their kid's shoulder and learn just as much as they will from, from the group. And uh, on top of that, I'll kind of leave it at this, but most people that need this group and mastermind and, and training mm -hmm. for their, for their kids, um, they can't afford it. So right. what I'm, what I'm doing is for everybody that pays in full for the, for the group, then we're going to, we're going to do, we're going to sponsor another family to come in for free and wow. uh, we're not giving it to them, but they have to actually, they we're going to give it to them, but they have to keep, it's like when I was in college, if you had to yep. keep a 3.0 GPA to keep your scholarship, if you were from yep. Georgia, I went to Georgia Tech, these kids were like failing out like crazy. It was crazy. It was nuts. So they have to keep a participation percentage up or we're going to give mm -hmm. it to another family. Right. And so it's one price per family. I'm really excited about it. So if you have five kids or six kids or eight kids, they can all come in. If you're a grandparent mm -hmm. and you want to do, you want to buy this for your grandkids, you can. Uh, things like that. So I think with Christmas coming up and end of year, it's really exciting. We're going to start on January, first week of January for the program. But, you know, our promo starts launching here and I think, I think we launch it Friday. So I'm excited. Oh, about that, that That's awesome. So for anybody who is watching, uh, you know, I do have his website in the description. It's sevenfigureflipping.com, correct? Yeah. The number seven figure flipping.com. And I, this, yep. I just bought the domain today. It was a little bit expensive, but it's called uh, teenage tycoon.com. Teenage tycoon. Ah, teenage tycoon.com. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Because the thing is, is that I had, uh, growing up, we never had, uh, you know, talks about money. You know, it was always taboo is school never really taught about, you know, taught us. Yep. The, the most I got from my parents were, okay, how to balance a checkbook, you know, and I'm surprised I got that. Most people didn't even get that, to be honest. And, uh, you know, the thing is, is that my parents were never really successful. I, I hate nothing to bag on my parents. I love my parents. They, they were very successful in giving me all the love and, and support possible. But financially, they were not successful. And so they always saw that, like, I was always kind of, I don't want to say I was above them, but I had an entrepreneur spirit where I would always be just out there working, trying to develop businesses, trying to, you know, develop money, doing whatever I could. Um, you know, so my, one of the best things that my dad ever taught me was he said, listen, I don't care what anybody else does or what any, anybody else parents does. We're only required to do three things. Put put a roof over your head, food in your belly, and clothes on your back. And they don't have to be the best roof, doesn't have to be the best food, and it does not have to be the best clothes. So anything else outside of that, there's a there's a rake, there's a lawnmower, there's a shovel. Go out there and earn it yourself. You know, best advice I ever got from my dad. And that's what I did. So that's good. Hey, I, yeah. you know, I want to, I want to just bring something up real quick. Yeah. Um, I think when we think about success, it's easy for us as entrepreneurs who kind of understand the game, the financial mm -hmm. game and how to print money, especially as you get more successful as people that are watching this, you become more successful opportunities open up and you have tons yeah. of opportunity. You can just figure out like, honestly, you take every single dollar I have right now and I'll figure out how to make it back 10 times faster than I made it the first time. And I wouldn't be scared and I wouldn't worry about it. Um, right. but I think success, there's a lot of people that have financial achievement. And so you, you were use the word financial success. And I think success, Tony Robbins probably talks about the best. It's, it's mm -hmm. the science of achievement and art of fulfillment. The thing is, is there's people that have no money that are totally fulfilled with their lives and yes. that's success to me. And so I would say, if you're watching this, just be careful tying success to financial achievement, because we think that in a lot of us, like driven type A personalities that are like the one percenters out there, like, and I mean, like 1% crazy people that are like entrepreneurs, not yeah. 1%, because if, if you're making over 60K a year in the US, you're, you're in the top 1% on the planet. So what we need to be careful of is, is tying financial gain to success in life. And there's a lot of people that work a nine to five that are insanely happy. They're living in, you know, what to us would be like 
lower end housing, not yeah. having that much money, driving a crappy car, like whatever it is. But yeah. they're super happy. And these other people that are living in my neighborhood are constantly complaining and worried about their financial life, their life, all the stressors. They're all over social media getting sucked in. The haves and have nots, like all of this stuff, that's not mm -hmm. success. So, um, so your parents, like I, I, I would say like we all define fulfillment, the art of fulfillment, very yep. different. Every single person has a different version. That's why it's an art. It's an art because yeah. your art is different than your parents' art and my art and everybody else's art. So I think for all of us out there, like we need to figure out how we feel successful in our life through that art of fulfillment. And mm -hmm. for most of us that are high achievers, like you're, you're like, I'm a, I was a, above my parents and you're probably in, like, I desire to achieve more yeah. and they're fine achieving what they achieved. But mm -hmm. what I'm, what I don't like is when people want to achieve more, but they don't. Mm -hmm. And so that to me, that's like my, mine is like, where is my achievement level? And what have I achieved? Like what? And, and so I'm constantly looking to grow. And so if mm -hmm. somebody's like, I just don't want to sit there at the end of my life and be like, I wish I went for it. And those yeah. people, I feel like that's the, that's the challenge when they're constantly making excuses. So anyway, it's just a little bit for, for everybody that's watching, I hope to, to just kind of dial in the fact that just because something that I have or somebody else has or has, that's not your definition of success. Successful right. is not money. Successful is being fulfilled with your life. And if we can live in that, mm -hmm then, oh man, we can all just live our life by design. And that's what we're trying to do with these kids and these families is like, it's not just to come in and, and just because this 14 year old has flipped three houses doesn't mean you need to flip a house. Like, it, right. what are you excited about? What do you, what do you, what fires you up? Maybe it's tennis shoes. Maybe it's baseball cards. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's sports memorabilia. I have no idea, but something you're excited about right now, maybe it's just mowing a ton of lawns and growing a lawn mowing business. And I don't know, but there's something that you're mm -hmm. excited about. Maybe he's playing an instrument or singing or or writing books or something that's outside of the, the formal education system right now that I agree with you is totally broken. But yep. let's find your passion and let's pour into it because there's something that you're best in the world at that's God made you, God put in you to, mm -hmm. to expand in his kingdom. And let's figure out how to how to pour into that. So that's yeah. uh, I don't know. I kind of like leave it at that. That's what yeah, that's what I'm excited about. And I just heard some things in there that. I mean, I'm sure I, I, I bet your parents are like insanely proud of you and I they hope are. they went for it and they're, yeah. they might be fine just clocking in and clocking out and living their life, you know? Yeah. And I was talking to my, I was talking to my mom yesterday and I was just telling her about everything that I'm doing. And, and she goes, Oh my God, Randy, like I'm 40 years old now. She goes, by the time you're 50, you're going to be a millionaire. And I go, I hope so, ma. I hope so. You know, but no matter what, I'm still always going to be there for you. So, yeah, you know, and be like, mom, no, next year I am. Yeah. You know? <laughs> next year. Not in 10 years, well, next year. Like, yes. And, and, and sometimes like most of those, a lot of people are like, I don't, I, I don't even know how you do it. How do you do it? Like, but they're happy. They're so happy in their life and, and yep. totally fulfilled. And they, they say to me all the time, like that would give me a headache. That would kill me in a year. And mm. like, well, if I don't do this, I feel like I'm going to die. So, yeah. So that's one thing that I love to do is I actually love to teach people everything, anything that I I have knowledge wise, I want to pour into other people. If you want to learn, here you go. You know, um, here's my knowledge. Here's what I be based on my experience. Here you go. So um, that's kind of another reason why I've done the podcast. I've done the Facebook group and I'm doing the YouTube channel as well. So trying to give back as much as possible. Nice. Um, I feel the same you know, way. Most definitely. So I want to respect your time, uh, you know, with that. And I really do appreciate you coming on. And I, I, I really do. So anybody who is watching, go down, hit, see the seven figure flipping.com. And I, uh, you know, check, check out the, you said it was the teen tycoon Teenage tycoon.com. Teenage tycoon. Hey, look, if you go there right now, if you're watching this live, you're going to find like a park domain. I literally bought it an hour ago, but by Friday, we should have it up and rolling. And uh, and, and down the road, that's where it'll live. So it'll be, a, I'm writing a book. It's, I, oh man, I think it'll be a New York Times bestseller. I'm going to go to work on that thing. So it, 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 the book definitely. won't be ready until next year, next December. Most definitely. So, um, and if you have 
any uh, questions or anything like that, ask them in the chat if you're watching the replay, if you're not live, and I'll be able to, uh, I'll try to answer them as much as I can. So um, thank you, Bill, for coming on. And yeah. thank you for everything that you've done, uh, you know, for your, on your YouTube channel, for Seven Figure Flipping. Like, honestly, I've learned a lot just by watching all that. So, um, and I'll definitely be at the next Flip Hacking Live. So nice. next year. Awesome. So, yes. Um, so with that, I'm going to bring you down. I'm going to do my exit and then uh, we'll talk for a minute. All right. Sounds good. So, all right. And how's it going? Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. I really do appreciate it. And uh, again, check out Seven Figure Flipping in the description or just the number seven figure flipping.com. And we'll see you on the next podcast. We'll see you with the next guest. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view